Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be looking at two sentence horror stories. Yeah, let's just get right into the video. 911, what's your emergency? I asked and listened to the quiet sobs of a little kid on the end of the line. I think my daddy wants to kill me, the girl said and cried, making me freeze on the spot as I recognized my daughter's voice. What? What? Wait, what? What? Huh? I don't really get this one. Is it like free? For interpretation, like there's someone who wants to kill the girl, but it's not the dad and the dad is listening, but the girl thinks it's the dad. Or the girl found out and the dad is like, oh, shoot. Okay, Larry, for this underwater scene, Julia will be pretending to drown, but will hold up three fingers when she needs air. Okay, Julia, if you need air during your underwater scene, just wave your hands and Larry will hand you the scuba mask. What? What, this director trying to kill Julia or something? Finally, I have the house to myself, the boy said when he threw himself on the couch. Pinocchio's dread grew as fast as his nose did when the words left his mouth. So there's someone in his house, but he just doesn't know? Jeez, imagine. Imagine if you were Pinocchio and you said that and your nose just kept growing. Oh my gosh. I would faint. After being satisfied that I learned as much information as I could on every topic under the sun, I unfroze time after many years. Guilt ripped into me the moment the first person I encountered sobbed that they were conscious the whole time. What? So that person could freeze time, but people were just stuck there? for so many years while being conscious the whole time. That's messed up, man. That's so messed up. I used my first wish to become a billionaire and I used my second one to find out what happens after death. I was planning to use my third wish to free my genie, but instead I used it to become immortal. Oh, so they found out what happens after death. They didn't like it. They were like, screw that. I'm just gonna live forever. Out of sheer boredom, I turned on the radio in my kidnapper's basement, only to hear that he had been arrested the day before. I thought they were still searching for me, but then I heard my own voice saying how much I was glad to finally be found. Wait, what? I don't, what? Are you guys as confused as I am? Is it because someone else is acting like them, but the real person is still in the basement? Or oh, is it because they have a twin? Oh my gosh, I'm so confused. What? 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 Am I just dumb? I think so. I think I'm just dumb. Guys, I think I'm just dumb. Or are they dead and the police found their dead body? <sighs> Jeez. Everyone outside's fallen asleep, so I rushed home to check the news. The TV turned on to a sitcom rerun, and they're asleep on there too. Whoa, so the universe is just sleeping? I found a website that predicts the deaths of celebrities. The funny thing is, after a certain point, all the names display the same date. 25th of August, 2025. Oh, is that like the end of the world kind of thing? Wasn't there someone who predicted like the end of the world and, you know, it just passed and no one even cared anymore? <laughs> Daddy, why is mummy always so mean to me? My son asks, his tear-stained face wrought with sadness and fear. Deciding that it's finally time to tell him the truth, I say, she's just upset that you survived childbirth and she didn't. The mum is a ghost? Wow. So the mum is haunting her own son. My cousins and I were five when we wandered off into the forest without telling anyone. Now we're three and the hunger is starting to kick in again. Why are they three? Oh, when I met with death, I frantically begged him not to take me today and he agreed to come back for me another day. It's been over 800 years since that day. Wow. So they're just alive even after 800 years. Wow. After I lost my eyesight during a workplace accident, I made it a point to memorize the house layout, including the 14 step stairway to the basement. My heart sank when I started counting 15, 16, 17. <gasps> Yo, I hate 
I hate basements, man. <laughs> I hate houses with basements, dude. I've been watching too many horror movies, too many thriller movies, too many of those. I don't trust anyone with a basement. <laughs> Everyone feels safe when they double check that the door is locked. They never seem to consider it might not have been them that locked it. Ugh, this one gives me goosebumps. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Right? Someone is secretly living with them and locking the doors so they can't escape instead. Always lock your doors, okay? Always remember to keep your doors locked. Wasn't there someone who used to invite themselves to people's houses because they didn't lock the doors? And they thought because people didn't lock the doors, that means they're inviting him to come in to the place. That's freaking scary. Don't open the door unless you hear one slow and then two quick knocks. My father had warned as he left the house to gather supplies. Now at 12 midnight, I can hear the same pattern of knocks resounding menacingly from every door and window of my home. Wait, what? So someone found out about the code and it's not the father knocking? Like, they're trying to use the same code to figure out where the kid is? Like, it's me, your dad. 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 <laughs> okay, that's creepy. Wow. I love how these stories, you can like interpret them in so many ways too. Or is it the dad? But they're just not letting the dad in because he's like a zombie now. <laughs> oh, jeez. Daddy, there's someone under my bed. My daughter screamed, but I was too scared to go out and save her. Hiding under her bed in her kidnapper's house, I couldn't help but wonder why she called him that. What in the world, man? So one, the girl takes the kidnapper as her dad now. Or two, the kidnapper is the one hiding under her bed, but he's delusional and thinks that the girl is his kid. I like number two better. Tearing up, my mother opens her arms for a hug as she whispers, Sweetie, it has been way too long. Come here. Horrified, I start covering her grave faster. Oh, <laughs> wait. <laughs> what? Wait, isn't that their mother though? Shouldn't they be happy, dead or alive, if they see like someone that they love? Shouldn't they still be happy? If it was someone that I knew that becomes a ghost, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm just saying this, but yeah, I don't know, man. My blind date texted that he'd finally arrived and was sorry for being 15 minutes late to pick me up, but we'd already been driving for 10. Oh my gosh. This reminds me of like the Uber driver one where it was like kind of like the same thing, but the Uber driver was like, I'm here now, where are you? And they're like, oh, wait, who the heck's car am I in now? This is why you should always check your Uber driver's like license plate and everything, okay? And ask them to tell you what your name is, all right? Even though it was our first date, I agreed to go up to his apartment thinking how he reminded me of someone. But when I went to the bathroom, I happened to look under the mirror cabinet and saw my own handwriting. He's hypnotizing you again. So it's them trying to remind themselves that you have been in this house before. This guy is crazy. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.